This is amazing. Now we have Keycloak AI. Keycloak is open source identity and access management application. In this, I'm going to show you how you can take an application and you can integrate AI into that application. And we are going to implement risk detection in Keycloak. So when you take any application, when the user wants to log into that application, we are going to use a centralized user management system such as Keycloak. In this way, even if you have multiple application, you can still link that to Keycloak one application and it simplifies the process of user management. For example, in regards to Google, you have Google Apps, Gmail, Google Maps and much more. So all the applications are connected to one user management application. So you can log into any of those applications, but it will use one user management application. So when you try to log into Google service or any Google apps, it will redirect you to the user management application. In this case, we are going to use an open source user management tool, Keycloak. For now, this is all working fine, but how we can add AI to this mix? So the user is trying to log into the application. The application is redirecting to Keycloak and inside Keycloak, we are having another system where we are going to risk assess the user by creating a small plugin or a provider called AI Risk Authenticator. So inside this, we are connecting this to AI, that is OpenAI API or any AI API, and it's going to analyze the risk and return the risk score. Based on that, the AI Risk Authenticator is going to decide whether to allow user to access the application or to reject. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about key cloak and risk detection using AI. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn how you can set up a provider in key cloak, then how you can integrate AI into that mix, then run it. Finally, I'm going to show you how is my current progress because I've built everything is running, but still I haven't completed that yet. I'm going to share with you my findings. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, you need to download the Keycloak latest version that is 25.01 using this command. You have detailed explanation on how you can install this in Keycloak website. So I'm just following this guide. You can even directly download from this link here. I'm using Mac M2 and I'm following these guide. So once after you download and keep that in the folder, Next, navigating to the Keycloak folder, make sure you've installed OpenJDK because in regards to Mac, this is one of the requirements. So brew install OpenJDK and then click enter. This will install the OpenJDK package. Now after this, bin k.sh, then start hyphen dev. So this is the command which I'm going to type and then click enter. Now you can see the application is running in this URL. So I'm going to open it and here is the user interface. I'm going to enter my username, then password. After that, create user. Now you can see the administrator user got created. Now I'm opening administrator console and entering my username and password and sign in. Now we are inside Keycloak. This is user management dashboard where you can create users, you can delete users, and you can integrate this Keycloak with any of your application. So you don't need to manage users in your own application rather than focus on creating your own application. So now we have successfully set up Keycloak now we need to integrate that with AI. In my case, I've used Keycloak as an example, but this could be any of your own application and you can integrate AI into that. So as I mentioned before, so in Keycloak, we are going to create a provider called AI Risk Authenticator and we are going to connect the AI Risk Authenticator to ChatGPT. This could be Olama or Grok or any LLM. So to create a provider in Keycloak, I'm creating a completely new folder called Keycloak Custom Provider Inside that, here is the folder structure. At the root, you have pom.xml. And then I've got two classes for Java. And I mentioned the Authenticator Factory service in this location. So totally, I've created four files. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going through one by one of this. When we see pom.xml, here we provide all the dependencies. One of the main dependency which we are going to create is for simple OpenAI. This is a plugin or integration for Keycloak. Using this, we are able to access OpenAI API. So this is the plugin which I'm going to use. It's a simple Java library 
to use OpenAI API in the simplest possible way. So this is how you add the dependency and call OpenAI. So in this XML file, we just mentioned the list of dependencies. I'll put all the information on the code in the description below. So when we see the next two Java files, to configure our own authenticator, we need to modify or extend the authenticator class and also authenticator factory class. That's why we created two different Java file. So here is the authenticator class. So we are extending the authenticator class and adding or manipulating the existing class by just mentioning the line like this. Then after that, we can see we are integrating OpenAI using this package. So as we see here, inside that authenticator class, we are calling OpenAI API to calculate the risk score. That's what's happening here. First, we are getting the OpenAI API key here. Next, we are sending a custom prompt based on the username, IP address, user agent, and all other possible information and asking ChatGPT to score between zero to 100, where zero is the lowest risk and 100 is the highest risk. So if the risk score is low, we are going to refuse access to our system or application. If the score is higher, then we are going to allow access. That's what we are doing in authenticator class. And in the authenticate factory class, we are extending that and that's where we are calling the AI risk authenticator class, which we have created in the previous file. So based on this, we are going to decide if the user can access the application or not. So that's a quick overview. And finally, we got this a file inside the services folder and you can see the path here and that just contains this one information. So this helps Key Cloak to understand that there is a provider available to use. So now we have completed the step number two of integrating it with AI. Now we are going to run this. To do that, we need to first build the package. So Java application generally need to be built for it to be used. To do that, we are going to use a tool called Maven. So Maven is another tool from Apache, which you can download to build this Java package. So I'm going to just type MVN clean package and then click enter. This will automatically build the package which we have just created. And you can see it got stored in this location. So I'm going to copy this .jr file and place that in the key cloak providers folder. So this is our main key cloak application. So I'm going to place that JR file inside this providers folder. That's it. After that, inside the config folder conf, there is keycloak.conf. So click on that. And this is how the file looks like. You can customize this based on your requirement, but I'm going to keep this simple. I'm just going to add this line and save it. Now we need to build the key cloak software or the application. To do that, same as before, bin slash kc.sh and build, and then click enter. You can see now the build is completed. Next, same as before, we are going to type bin slash kc.sh start hyphen dev and then click enter. Now you can log back in again with your previous username and password. And in the provider info, if you go there, just search for AI risk authenticator and you can see the AI risk authenticator in the list, which means it's successfully added as a provider to key cloak. Next, you need to go to authentication, create a flow, naming it as test and add execution. That's where we can see AI risk authenticator. Just add it. Going to say required and then we need to bind the flow to the browser flow. So that is a quick overview on my progress in regards to integrating AI in Key Cloak. I will provide all the code in the description below. I've come to a point that it might take a bit more time to add that extra feature, but I'll give that in your hand. But this is just to get you an understanding on how you can integrate AI into any of your application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.